أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المكبوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحلل أقودة من لساني يفقه قولي I welcome the brothers I, which I say youth of uh, the youth of Al Jannah for this uh, great program that inshallah we are going to start today we are starting today I mean may Almighty Allah make it to be a successful program and may Almighty Allah re give us reward in this program this program is to for us to learn about our religion which is very very important in our life I'm going to start with what we call the right of uh, normally everybody have right which Islam is very concerned about Islam is very concerned about everybody right starting from the right of Almighty Allah, our Creator. Did our Creator, you know, when you are going to look at something, you see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, before He will ask for His right from you, He will first give you, before He will ask anything from you, He will first give you. And this is what we are going to look at, inshallah, this night. Did, when, even though it did not, be, because this is our creator, even though it did not give us anything, did he deserve to, to, yani, the right of worship? Yes. But Allah did not do it like that. He gave us before he can take from us. When we are going to look the virtues of uh, the Islamic law, uh, the Islamic law is, has concern about what we call justice. Justice, uh, as Islam is very, very concerned about what we call justice, and that is why it says, give right, give everybody their right. Give everybody their, what belongs to them. Keep everybody where they belong to. When we say that you should give People, they are right. Without, don't, don't, do, don't overdo. Don't overdo it. Do it according to what Islam said that you, as, as Islam permitted you to do, to do it. Uh, Islam, Amara bil Adli, Amara Allahu bil Adli. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Amara na bil Adli. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to be just. In everything, wal ihsan and to be good, wa ita is the kurba, and to give the people that they are very close to us. What does that mean? Is to be good to the people that they are very close to the, the people that they are close to us. Now, if if that is the case, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, since we cannot hear from Allah. We cannot see Allah, but we have some representative that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to this world. Who are they? The Rusul. The Rusul. The Prophet. The Messenger of Allah. Allah sent them to come and do us, to come and guide us to the right way. To come and show us the good way and the bad way. Now, وَبِالْعَدْوِي بُعِثَةُ الرُّسُولِ وَأُنْزِلَةُ الْكُتُبِ وَقَامَةُ الْأُمُورُ الدُّنْيَا with justice, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the prophet to, uh, to us. Yani, jail bada jail. After uh, generation after generation. The generation of Prophet Abraham, alayhi salatu salam, during his time, he gave them the way, he shown them the way. Now, he turned to his children, the same thing, they guide us, what are they, what is the purpose to show us, uh, to, to, to show us the way and to, tell, to let us know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that, be, that deserves to be worshipped. And sent down the kutub, that is the, the revelation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down the revelation, understand? So that we can, the revelation is the one that will be guiding us. Now the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is no more with us. But we have kitab and we have sunnah. Is that not so? We have what we call al-kitab or sunnah. From there, we know what we're supposed to do and we know... Uh, uh, we, we know what, what we're supposed to do in Islam. Now, وَالْعَدْلِ إِتَاءِ ذِي إِتَاءِ كُلُّ ذِي حَكٍ حَقَّهُ وَتَنْزِيلُ كُلُّ ذِي حَقٍ وَتَنْزِيلُ كُلُّ ذِي مَنْزِلَةُ مَنْزِلَةُهُ With justice, is justice, what we call justice is to give the person, everybody, their right and to, keep, to put everybody on their, uh, their, their places. وَلَا يَتِمُ ذَلِكَ إِلَّا بِمَعْرِفَةَ الْحُقُوقِ We cannot know that. We cannot do that. Except we know what is the right of everybody. Now, Sayyidina Ali, he said, he said, فَعَرِفُونِي قَبْلَ أَن تَعَبُدُونَ That is in Hadith Al-Qudsi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, this is the author of the Hadith Sayyidina Ali, فَعَرِفُونِي قَبْلَ أَن تَعَبُدُونِ that you must know me before you worship me. Because everybody can just choose anyhow to worship Allah. And you say that this is the way you can worship. No, you cannot. You have to know how to worship Allah before you worship him. Anybody that does not know how to worship Allah, how can he worship? So this is the case here also. You know what is the right of everybody, everybody, every one of us, so that you can give the right. And that is why you can see this book yani, from Sheikh Muhammad bin Salih al Uthaymi. He said, Hukuk da'at ilayha al fitra. What, we, what do we mean by al fitra? Al fitra is the nature in every one of us. Uh, when at times, if you don't want to say, I want to go to the toilet, I want to go and make toilet, or I want to go and urinate. You say, I want to go and answer the call of the nature. Because it's our nature to eat. Is that also? It's our nature to drink. It's our nature to pass it, uh, yani, to go to the toilet. That is, our, that is the nature of every one of us. Now, let me use the, an, another example. Respect. When we are talking about respect, respect is the nature of every one of us. It's not about Muslim alone. If you disrespect somebody that is not, an, let us an atheist, atheist, you know, the person, the people that they don't have deen. If you disrespect, he will get angry. Is that not so? Because to give respect is, is nature. So, Hukuk, this is the right, right da'at ilayha al-fitra, that nature called for. But Sharia Islam also supports we should respect each other. Is that not so? Sharia Islam supports that we should respect each other. And that is why we have hukuk, hukukat, that different right. We are going to start with hukukullah. The right of Allah today. And we have Hukuku Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Another that is for another day. The right of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hukuku Walidai. The right of our parents. Did they have right? Yes, they have right. Yes. Because that our parents, they are two doors that will lead us to Al Jannah. 
Most of us here, we still have the two doors. Some of us here, maybe father is no more, mother is there, meaning that that one door will remain for you. You have to, whatever you, you have to let that lead you to al -Jannah. Everybody wants al -Jannah here. Okay? Seek for al -Jannah through your parents. After you serve Allah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you people who understand what I'm saying? You have to let your parent lead you to al -Jannah. Now, hukukul awlad. Even we as children, we have our right also. Hukukul aqarib. The people that they are very close to us. We have their right. They have their right also. Hukukul zawjain. Husband and wife. They have, both of them have right between each other. Hukukul awlad. The master. The master and the people that they are under him. They have their right. So all this, this is what we are going to look at, inshallah. Now, but the great one that we are, we are going to start with is Okukullah. Now, as I mentioned earlier, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is used, he will give you before he asks you for anything. Now, let us look at it here. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that let you to be. You are now, and you are, you are now, you are, you are in exist. After, before that, you are before. You are no, you are no, no, nobody know anything about you. But Allah let you to be in this world. Uh, Allah created you from nothing. This is, if Allah created you from nothing, or does, we Allah, and Allah now created you as human being, not as animal. This is what, what make Allah to have every right on you to be worshipped. Before you are nothing, even your parents that they, they, they gave back to you, they don't know who is coming. They don't know who is coming. He's going to the, the boy or is, is it a boy or a girl that is coming to there to them? We don't, they don't know. Is it going to look like the father or the mother? The, the, the boy that uh, the, ch the child that is coming. Is that child who is going to look like fa the, the father or the mother or one of the grandfather? They don't know. Till the end you come. So well I'm taking shay and madkura. You are no more before. Hakullah, part of the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabbaka, is took every care of you. He took every care of you with his blessing. Wa anta fi batni ummik. Wa anta fi batni ummik. Fi zulumati thalas. When you are in the womb of your mother. Fi zulumati thalas. In the, the, the darkness. Three step, three step of darkness, the womb, and another thing cover with the, the, the cover of the, of, the, of the belly of, of the mother. The three darkness, that is where you are. لا يستطيع أحد من المخلوقين أن يوصل إليك. Where you are in the womb of your mom, nobody can reach that place. Nobody can reach that can reach the place. Even the mother that carry you in her belly, she also cannot reach you there. But Allah is there, is the one that is taking care of you, is giving you food. Now at times the mother can drink something that is very hot. It will not touch you. Because Allah is there. He's the one taking care of you. Allah, the mother can drink something that is very cold. It will not reach you there. Because he's the one that is taking care of you. Your growth. Your growth. How are you growing? From where? From what we call, from what we call Al-Mani. al notfa Spam. From spam. From alaqa. That is 
blood. After blood, then you turn to a piece of meat. From that piece of meat, Allah now created put bone inside the piece of the meat. Now he now cover you with the flesh. Who is doing that? It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why I say this is what Allah is doing for you before he can even ask you to worship him. Now Adralaka, that is when you are in the belly of, of your mom. Adralak Athadiyay. And also show you the way you are going to breastfeed. A newborn baby, nobody will tell the newborn baby where it's going to breastfeed before you know where it's going to breastfeed. You will see a newborn baby, we're looking for where. And Allah, Allah is the one that let the baby know where it's going to breastfeed. And Allah show you two ways. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show you two ways, the good and evil. And we are in this world, in this world full of good, full of evil. But Allah has already shown you both ways. Allah, and Allah put mercy in the heart of your parents. You know, when our parents get married, Every couple, every new couple, a new married couple, they want to enjoy their self. They want to enjoy their youth. They want to enjoy the marriage they are. But at times, you came in as a child. The mother will say, I'm pregnant. But by the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in both of them, they will not hurt you. They will not hurt you and also they will not uh, terminate the pregnancy because if they hurt you they know that you, they have already hurt somebody if they terminate the pregnancy it means that they have already killed somebody that is if that person if that child is first, first born it you may come at this time that they do not expect it used to happen like that. But what is going to be? They are going to keep it. Okay? They are going to keep it. Love and the mercy they have for the child, for their child. Or for their children. At times, it may be, you are the, it, they, they, maybe they say that, okay, we don't want more than three children. Another mistake may come. You know what? They say, did we know we have to keep the baby because we don't know which among the children will take good care of us when we get to our old age. Is that so? It means that the, 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 the father, at times when we got married, some of the children, even though it is obligatory, it is compulsory for every child to take care of their, their parents. But we have it now. I know, I know some, some children, they will just say, okay, I have my own responsibility. Whatever your responsibility may be, you have to take care of your, child, or your, father, or your parents if they are still living together with you. If they are still living, you have to take good care of them. But at times, the, the, the parent, what I would say, Yani, which they should not really expect that okay, all the children will be the same, and that is why you see them. They say, okay, let me let us keep the child because we don't know who among the children will take care of us, and that is true. Even though all the children are supposed to take care of their children or their parents, all. Now, Allah give you his blessing. What is the, the, which blessing we are talking about? The blessing of memory. The best blessing of your brain. The, your brain. Now, it's according to how you make use of it. 
I can say every Muslims, every Muslim that believe that God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one. And la sharika lahu, don't have any companion, any, any, as, uh, any companion. He has his thinking is very split. Because we have some people, they are living with us. You will look at the way what they are worshipping. Can we say that their thinking is very straight like that? Or is straightforward? Their thinking is straightforward like that? No. Because when you look, somebody will mold something within, from the clay. He will mold it by himself. And we, the what you mold by us, by what he made mold by himself, and is now bound down for that thing. Or what we used to consume. The meat that we used to consume, that is the God of some people. Is that not so? That is the God that some people are worshipping. Are they thinking straight? But Alhamdulillah, God Almighty Allah gave us Al-Aqil, the brain, so that we can make use of it in the other, and we can make use of, of, of it to the right way. Wal Faham. And Allah gave us understanding. Understanding of everything. And Allah prepare you to accept all the blessing that He gave you so that you can be and you can benefit from it. That, that, so that it can be useful for, for you. Quran. والله أخرجكم من بطون أمهاتكم. الله سبحانه وتعالى. What we are saying here. That is what we give you. Allah, what we give you, يعني. That is what we show you that you must. You have to serve Allah, your 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 Maker. Because this is all the blessing that Allah gave to you. والله أخرجكم من بطون أمهاتكم. الله brought you out from the womb of your mom. لا تعلمون شيئا. What do you know? You don't know anything when we are baby. We don't know anything. We don't know anything. And that is why we have to give credit to our parents also. Because that time that you don't know anything. If they get, want to get, yani, get right of her, they want to, do, yani, they want to get right of you, they can do it. But because of the mercy or the fear of Allah, they cannot do anything that will hurt you. And because of the love they have for you. La ta'alamuna shay'an wa ja'ala lakum sam'u ala abusara. And Allah gave you a sam'a. Hearing, well, basar and sight, well, afida and heart, well, so that you can give thanks to Allah. All the blessing that we are talking about here, all the mercy, all the, all the favor that Allah gave to us that we are talking about here, if Allah just take, let's let let's uh, let, uh, take breath, let's make an example of breath. If the breath seeks, sees from we, 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 yani, we cannot breathe maybe just for five seconds. You know what, hap what will happen if Allah took that blessing of breathing? If Allah took that blessing of breathing from you, what will happen to that person? Just five seconds. You know that we are going to die. We cannot live anymore. Or the, the mercy that Allah gave to us if Allah deny us just for a second we cannot live if that is the case it is great the, the, the right the, the, the right great right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do what to worship him because he is the one that brought you to this life when you don't, you are nothing. Nobody know who is, my name is Abdul Hafiz. 
Nobody knows who is Abdul Hafiz before Allah put me to this life. And he did not create me among the animals. The animals also, they are, they are breathing. They have the same soul. They, have, they are feeling. They have feelings. But later on, what are we, going to, what are we doing with them? We slaughter them. That is why your own, your own gift is very, very yani, top-notch. You cannot compare it with other creation. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, La yuridu mink. Allah, Allah don't need any provision from you. Please come. Wala it amen or any yani food. That is why you say in the Quran, La nas aluka rizkon, nahnu narazukuka, wala akibatu le taqwa. I don't need any provision from you. I am the provider. Wala akiba, the good end is for the people of Al Muttaqi, Al Taqwa, the people that they have fear of God, pious. The good end belongs to them. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala needs something from you. And that thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala needs from you, Maslahtuhu yarja ilayk. Maslahtuhu yarja or ilayk. It will come back to you. The benefit, the benefit of that thing, be always coming back to you. Now let us use prayer. The five daily prayers. These five daily prayers, from each prayer to each prayer, Allah used to use it to wipe away your sin. Mukafiratu lima bainahum is a tunibal kabair. If we stay away from great, the greatest sin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used the prayer, uh, used those prayers to wipe away your sin. The same thing, al Juma ila Juma, Friday prayer to Friday prayer, Ramadan ila Ramadan, the same thing. And that is why a Muslim, it will be very amazing. That a Muslim die as a sin, as a sinner. Because you have every chance to not die as a sinner. If you believe in one God, and you did not associate any partner with him, you follow his commandment. What Allah said that you should do, you do it. What Allah said that you stay away from, you stay away from it. And you observe your five daily prayer as you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to not die as a sin, as a sinner. Normally, every one of us, we are going to die in a certain year, in a certain month, in a certain week, in a certain day, in a certain hour minute second that is when somebody will breathe up and you cannot come back again but if we put whenever the call for the prayer we put it and you we, we quickly perform ablution and go and pray so we are not going to be among the people person uh, uh, among the people that they will they will die without they will, they will die with the depth of prayer of of, of a prayer now, you read to me, can Tabuduhu Wahdahu la Sharika la Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want you to worship Him and don't associate any partner with Him. You know, when you worship Allah and still believe in other things, is that true Islam you are doing? When you worship Allah and you still worship or you bow down for another thing. Or some people, they will say they are Muslim and they are still going to church. 
inshallah it's, it's not among i'm just making an example with those people they are doing are they who are they deceiving they are deceiving them they are self and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ma khalaqtu al jinna wal insa illa liya'budu i did not create or create mankind and jinn except to what to do what to worship him ma uridu minhum min rizqin i don't need any provision from them i don't need it wa ma uridu an yut'imun i don't need them to feed me meaning all what you have all what you have you have somebody yani come from far away in this in this country to come uh, yani come to this country to come and look for good life all what what yani the money the salaries on everything that uh, he got here allah don't need it from him allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't need it from him what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala need from you is to worship him and you should not associate any partner with him at times by calling different name also may lead you to shirk instead of you to call the name of allah calling others name it may lead you to it to lead somebody to shirk inna allah huwa arrazzaq dhul quwwat al matin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that provide for every one of us dhul quwwa the owner of power al matin most strong now if somebody gave you a favor do a favor to you just somebody like you a creation like you do a favor to you which which way are you going to pay him good or bad that is a creation we are human being like you talk less of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that created every one of us give us life give us what we call good health are we going to use all this blessing in bad way or what are we to, which way are we going to pay allah back with all the blessing so if we can go pay a man a human being like us if you can pay him back with a good with good so allah deserve more from us more than that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deserve more more than that from from every one of us now qala nabiy sallallahu alayhi wa sallam li amran ibn asin li amran ibn hasin wa kana imran marida here what they i want to tell you what or what i want to tell you here is that you worship allah as you supposed to worship allah haqqa tuqatihi haqqa tuqatihi but at time at, at the same time allah give you some opportunity what happened to uh, imran he was very sick and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say you see have an opportunity what is that opportunity if you cannot pray normally if you want to pray which is part of the rukn rukn salah we have to stand we have to stand for takbirat al ihram we have to stand for qira recitation of the of surah al fatiha now if you cannot pray by standing you can pray while seated you sit down and pray that is the type of opportunity that we have if you cannot sit down and pray then you can lie down and pray meaning if this the memory is working you don't have any excuse to not pray whatever the sickness may be whatever the sickness 
may be you don't have any opportunity to not pray. Meaning, the people that they, are, they overlook their deeds is the person that runs insane, a madman. The, the, the children, or the person that was sleeping. Or when they call for prayer, you don't even know. You don't, it's not, you don't know the call for prayer. So Allah will overlook their shortcomings. The insane man till he got back to his sense. When he got back to his sense, then they will now be writing down for him. He did this, uh, he did bad, good, bad or good. But when somebody ran insane, the book is already closed. So now as a Muslim, the way uh, we are going to, yani, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala needs from us is to serve him, is to worship him. Follow his commandment, stay away from all his forbiddings. Forbiddings that can let you run mental. Quran says, What will damage you, what will destroy you, stay away from it. Anything that you know that will damage you, stay away from it. Like what? Smoking. Let us oh. use cigarette. Cigarette. You know, the youth now is this is where they know that okay, we are we are now a big boy. So let us start. Because that can lead you to what we call uh, marijuana. They started from smoking. And this blessing of thinking we run away from you. It's a blessing from Allah. Many people are looking for that blessing. They don't have it. And Allah give you that blessing. Not to misuse it. To use it in a good way. If you have brain, wallahi, wallahi, it's a great blessing. Go and look at the insane man at the, on, the, on the street. Which anybody will not pray that you have him as, as, a, as a relative or one of his family. You cannot pray like that. Anything that can damage this memory, your memory, you stay away from it. All type of drugs. In my own country, one, there is a drug called uh, reverse. You know what this drug is doing? You will think that you are going front while you are reversing. Did you understand what I say? He himself is thinking that he is going, he is going front and he is reversing. You will be going back. Did you imagine what I am saying? Different type of drugs are there, which as we as youth, youth, please, please, we should stay away from it. Don't even go there. Because that will lead you to not know what is right from what is good. No, what is good from what is bad, I mean. Any type, alcohol. You know when you drink alcohol, you know what? As a Muslim, as a Muslim, when you drink alcohol, Allah will not accept your prayer for 40 days. Taste. And that is why in our own religion, if the small quantity of alcohol is forbidden, small quantity of alcohol, or let me say, if the big quantity of alcohol is forbidden, the small quantity of alcohol is also forbidden. Because when you drink small alcohol, 
what will happen to you? Yeah, let us use uh, the cover of the, the, the every bottle, yeah, the, the water bottle, you cover it and yeah, you test it, you drink it. What will happen to you? You need more. You need more. That is the shaitan that is an alcohol. Many people cannot drink one cup of water. But they can drink a bottle, ten bottles of alcohol one time. This is shaitan that is an alcohol. And later, that person will lose his memory. If you have any problem, this life is full of problems. You know, go back to Allah. Go back to your Quran. Go back to your Quran. Read Quran. Don't use these, uh, what are they calling it, the drugs. You need to console yourself. Or don't use it. Because when you start, that is it. When you start to stop, it will be very difficult. Alhamdulillah, I'm look, as I'm looking at this, these very, very handsome faces here, Alhamdulillah, Wallahi, anybody that is taking drugs cannot look like you people. Very handsome people, look at them here. And that is why last time I said, these, these are the Shabab, Shabab al-Jannah. For you people to put yourself together and say that, okay, uh, please, we want to listen to the word of God, word of Allah, something that will encourage us, will put us more in our, our feet in Islam. We want, to do, we want to listen to that. Wallah is a very big Ghani. We are Shabab al Jannah. We are all, we are all Shabab al Jannah. Please, anything that will, not, will make your father or uh, your mother to be not happy with you, understand? Or your your creator or your creator you can see all the blessings that we say here now. many blessings of Allah that we say here how are you going to yani, how are you going to manage the blessing how are you going to enjoy that blessing is when this one is working but if this one is not working Allah, so you lose it forever it's, 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 I can say that person is a loser and, uh, that, that may lead him and, uh, to death. And what did you come to this life for? If Allah said that I did not create you, mankind, and I did not create yourself to worship, to worship him. Okay, what is the benefit of you coming to this life? And Allah already gave you all this, this blessing, this favor. To do what? To make good of it, to make good use of it. So, inshallah, this is the right of Allah. This is the right of Allah that He asks from every one of us to do. Kids, youths, old people, or old, 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 uh, old people. This is the right that we must give to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have to, we have to prepare for that. Because as we are, we are getting older. We are getting older. Don't look at yourself that, oh, I'm just 15 years old. I'm just, no. You have to start from now. You didn't know, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, anybody that, any child that is not going for prayer, his father at the age of 10 must be punished. Must be punished. So may Almighty Allah make uh, his to way of his worship. May Almighty Allah make it to be easy for every one of us. Uh, inshallah, the next Sunday it will be Hakun Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hakun Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The right of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. After that, the right of our parents. Because we just touch light it now, right? Light of our parents, it will be. Subhana Rabbika Rabbi Zatamisipu, Wassalamu Alam Musaim, Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.
عهدا علينا اسود العرين نمضي اماما ابدا there are certain condition that you cannot make wudu okay maybe if somebody that person that you say he can he can lie down and pray it may be lie down on at the hospital and he don't have opportunity to go and perform ablution or he may not uh, the doctor may, uh, may tell him that he should not use water so tayamo dust dust ablution he will be on dust ablution till the doctor will tell him to make use of water okay so we look for its good very neat uh, sand natural natural one which uh, without uh, you know the one not the one that miss meet uh, the miss with it's chemical cement. with cement or not so you make use of that and uh, the natural one or stone when you have a natural rock rock stone stone so you can make use of that to perform tayamo yeah. so then you can anyhow that you can yani uh, when he lie down like this he may make sure that he, he face the qibla so the prayer will be like like this and like this inshallah ابدا لا لن نحيد عن خطى الايمان دربنا درب قويم دربنا درب قويم when we see that the pregnancy is going to hurt the parent the woman the doctor may advise the mother that she will remove it but normally without any any problem anything you can no no financial financial you cannot it's not allowed because allah is the provider did you get it sheikh allah is the provider so maybe that very young that child is one that will be bring more blessing to your family you don't know so if because of the the the, 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 the money or how to take care of the child that should not lead you to terminate the pregnancy except in a condition where we see that the pregnancy is going to hurt the mother or it may, it may lead to her death the doctor will say okay they should remove it and that one is allowed no problem but without any condition anything so we cannot terminate any pregnancy if you terminate if you hurt or terminate any pregnancy it means that it kills somebody <laughs>